In this lecture, we will attempt to answer the question, what is psychopathology? In an early use of the term, psychopathology dates back to 1913, when the book General Psychopathology was first introduced by Carl Jaspers, a German-Swiss philosopher and a psychiatrist. This new framework for understanding the mental experience of individuals followed a long history of varied attempts at making meaning out of abnormal experiences. Well, the term abnormal psychology refers to the scientific study of people who are atypical or unusual with the intent to be able to reliably predict, explain, diagnose, identify the causes of, and treat maladaptive behavior. A more sensitive and less stigmatizing term that is used to refer to the scientific study of psychological disorders is psychopathology. These definitions beg the question of, what is considered abnormal and what is psychological or mental disorder? Now, according to APA Dictionary of Psychology, here is the definition for psychopathology. It is the scientific study of mental disorders, including their theoretical underpinnings, progression, symptomology, diagnosis, and treatment. This broad discipline draws on research from numerous areas such as psychology, biochemistry, pharmacological and psychiatry, neurological and endocrinology. The term in this sense is sometimes used with abnormal psychology. Second, the behavioral or cognitive manifestations of such disorders. The term in this sense is sometimes considered synonymous with mental disorder itself. Okay, now let's be a little bit more precise. So the question is, what is psychopathology? How do we currently define psychopathology? In short, this discipline can be understood in an in-depth study of problems relating to mental health. Just like pathology is the study of nature of disease, including causes, development, and outcomes, psychopathology is the study of the same concepts within the realm of mental health or mental illness. This study of mental illness can include a long list of elements, symptoms, behaviors, causes, course development, categorization, treatment, strategies, and more. In this way, psychopathology is all about exploring problems related to mental health, how to understand them, how to classify them, and how to fix them. Because of this, the topic of psychopathology extends from research to treatment and covers every step in between. The better we can understand why a mental disorder develops, the easier it is to find effective treatments. Now, who works in psychopathology? Just as the scope of psychopathology is broad-ranging from research to treatment, so too is the list of types of professionals who tend to be more involved in the field. At the research level, you will find research psychologists, psychiatrists, neuroscientists, and others trying to make sense of the different manifestations of mental disorders seen in clinical practice. 
At the clinical level, you will find many types of professionals attempting to apply the diagnostic systems that are in place to provide effective treatments to individuals living with psychopathology. These can include the following and more. We have clinical psychologists, counselors, criminologists, marriage and family therapists, nurse practitioners, psychiatric nurses, psychiatrists, social workers, and sociologists, but also there is much more. Okay, to recap, the term abnormal psychology refers to the scientific study of people who are atypical or unusual with the intent to be able to reliably predict, explain, diagnose, identify the cause of, and treat maladaptive behavior. And a more sensitive and less stigmatizing term that is used to refer to the scientific study of psychological disorders is psychopathology.